Greetings. Good morning and welcome to The Bright Side, your nutritional program dedicated to the understanding of the vast world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. I'm your host, pharmacist Ben, nutritional pharmacist from Boulder, Colorado. I use nutritional supplements where other healthcare practitioners use toxic pharmaceutical drugs and sometimes deadly medical procedures. If you suspect that there are natural nutritional roads to your vitality and health and well-being and to addressing your health challenges, whatever they may be, but you don't know where to begin, you have come to the right place. As you listen to The Bright Side every day, you are more and more in control of your body. You are more and more knowledgeable, and you know you can overcome any health challenge. That is why we are here every day on The Bright Side, helping clear up the sometimes confusing world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation over the last 30 years of practicing pharmacy. I have seen drug-free recoveries from diabetes, hypertension, obesity, skin diseases like psoriasis, eczema, rosacea, acne, digestive ailments, autoimmune issues of all kinds, recoveries that by the standards of modern medicine can only be called a miracle. But what is in the world of the body, what is in the world of biology, standard operating procedure. Because the human biological system is a healing system, it's a regenerating system, it is designed divinely to heal and renew itself on a moment-to-moment basis. And while some folks may call that a miracle, it really is just the way the body works. If you have questions about health or nutrition or prescription drugs, we are here for you. We welcome your calls on the bright side, 844-236-6010 is our number, 844-236-6010. If you have questions about the longevity products or business or formulations or ingredients or skin health questions, 844-236-6010 is our number. Of course, if you have a success story you'd like to share or if you'd just like to contribute to the conversation, 844-236-6010 is our number on the bright side. If you want to purchase any of the longevity products that you hear advertised or recommended on the program, please head over to criticalhealthnews.com, brightsideben.com, or pharmacistben.com. You can take a look at the products right off the website, and of course, you could purchase products right off the website as well, or you can call the phone team at 866-735-2470, 866-735-2470. And if you're dealing with acne blemishes or accelerated aging or hyperpigmentation, dark spots on your skin, or if your skin is thinning, showing the signs of, uh, beginning to show the signs of aging. You want to know about our Truth Retinol 5% Gel. You can find out about that product at truthtreatments.com, truthtreatments.com. You can also check out our Truth Serum, Truth Omega-6 Healing Cream, and Truth Balm, all made without preservatives, fragrances, perfumes, fillers, waxes, silicon, oils, water, nothing your skin doesn't need or doesn't want. Every molecule in Truth Treatment products is there for you. It's there for your skin. It's there to make a difference on your skin. I'm not selling you stuff. I'm not putting stuff in the product just so I can sell you the product. That's how most skincare products are. They contain ingredients that are there just so you can buy the product. That's what fillers are about. That's what water is about. That's what silicon and preservatives and fragrances are about. They're not about you and your skin. They're about selling you a product. Truth treatment products never have anything in them that doesn't do anything, that doesn't do something for your skin. Nothing your skin doesn't need or doesn't want. 100% active and functional ingredients. You can find out all about it at truthtreatments.com, truthtreatments.com. Okay, welcome back to The Bright Side. We are talking a little bit longer about the connective tissue, by far and away, the most important tissue in the body in terms of quantity and also in terms of health. The major site of injury in the body is going to be to the connective tissue. The connective tissue is the cell's protector. We always say all disease is cell disease. That's a theme of The Bright Side. All disease is cell disease. However, It is the connective tissue, which is feeding, which is breathing, which is detoxifying, and which is protecting the cell. So once the connective tissue breaks down, cell disease is inevitable. The connective tissue is the cell's mother. It's the cell's matrix. And when there's an enemy present in the body, typically through, that has gotten into the body through the digestive system, it is the connective tissue that fights the enemy. It is the connective tissue that takes the bullet, so to speak. It takes the hit. So when we're toxic from sugar, we're toxic from drugs, we're toxic from cigarette smoke, we're toxic from food, that toxicity affects the connective tissue, which in turn affects the cell. 
When the connective tissue takes lots of hits, as occurs from a, the standard American lifestyle, the standard American diet, when the connective tissue takes lots of hits, it eventually gets wounded and eventually it can no longer feed the cell appropriately. This is where the cell starves. It can no longer oxygenate the cell appropriately. This is where the cell suffocates and it can no longer detoxify and protect the cells. And this is where the cells become toxic and broken down. The connective tissue, when, once the connective tissue becomes wounded, it's like a, a wounded mother bear who can no longer take care of her cubs. And thus begins the long, protracted, chronic, de uh, chronic degenerative, degenerative disease process that winds up as illness, misery, pain, and ultimately death. Because the body is literally deteriorating. It's literally falling apart with us inside of it. This is where the pain comes from. The connective tissue starts to break down. The body, in turn, via the cell starts to break down, we're inside it, and this is where the pain and the misery associated with all chronic degenerative disease begins. And doctors will be mystified, and they will be relegated to the tools of their trade, the deadly tools of their trade, radiation, cutting, cauterizing, drugging, completely oblivious to the fact that the problem has preceded the problem. The real problem has preceded where we see the problem, and that is in the connective tissue. So the connective tissue breakdown is the cause of every long-term chronic degenerative health challenge you can name, from Alzheimer's disease to atherosclerosis to eczema to psoriasis, petechiae, little, little uh, red circles that show up on your skin, migraine headaches, interstitial cystitis, chronic bladder infection, Peyronie's disease. The connective tissue breakdown is the cause of all of it. I saw this, uh, this neat uh, article with a picture of this horrible condition called hand eczema. Hand eczema, I call it alligator skin. And it is just a miserable condition. And if you look at it, it's hard to figure out what the heck is going on. So you go to the dermatologist, you get a steroid cream. That's pretty much all you can get. Or you just live with it. And it is painful. It's awful to look at. It's embarrassing. You call it hand eczema, I call it alligator skin, whatever you want to call it, it's a miserable, miserable condition. But what nobody recognizes, at least in the world of medicine and in the world of patients, is that this is a connective tissue problem. Eczema is a connective tissue problem. It's counterintuitive. It doesn't look like it's a connective tissue problem because you're just looking at your skin. But what happens is the connective tissue underneath the skin cells breaks down. The connective tissue underneath the skin cells takes the hit from digestive toxicity. This is the link to digestive toxicity. Digestive toxins get into the blood, the blood circulates, it drops off those toxins in the connective tissue in various parts of the body, including underneath the skin in the hands. The connective tissue breaks down, it can no longer feed and sustain the cells, and the problem looks like it's on the skin, but it's not. It's in the connective tissue, and the same kind of mechanism takes place when you have psoriasis, when you have migraines, when you have Peyronie's disease, when you have heart disease, and your doctor will give you a statin drug or he'll give you a steroid drug, or he'll give you a pain relieving drug, none of which does anything to solve the problem. The connective tissue is the major site of attack from digestive toxicity and also sugar. Perhaps you've heard of AGEs, advanced glycosylated end products. These are sugar complexes, these are uh, sugar protein complexes that are, are the result of long-term chronic elevated blood sugar that's not being handled. As blood sugar levels go up, that sugar starts to damage connective tissue. The connective tissue damage is what we call advanced glycosylated end products, AGEs. The connective tissue does much more than connect. So once the connective tissue starts to break down, once it's attacked by sugar from long-term chronic dysglycemia, messed up blood sugar, cells will no longer get fed, oxygenated, or detoxified. And I'm talking all the cells because the connective tissue interacts with all 100 trillion cells of the body. The connective tissue feeds each one of these 100 trillion cells of the body. The connective tissue detoxifies and oxygen oxygenates each one of these 100 trillion cells in the body. And once the connective tissue is sugared, once it's caramelized, once it's glycated, the health of each one of these little cells is going to be compromised. And anything is possible at that point, including eczema, even though it may not look like it, including Alzheimer's disease, even though it may not look like it, including anything you can name in the way of chronic degenerative disease, even though it may not look like it. I'm Pharmacist Ben. We'll be back right after this. 
Okay, we are back on the bright side. Our number, 844-236-6010. If you have questions about the longevity products or business or formulations or connective tissue or skin health issues or formulations or ingredients or anything we're talking about on the program, if you have a success story you'd like to share, if you have a problem patient, or if you have a health challenge that you want help dealing with, 844-236-6010 is our number on the bright side. If you want to purchase any of our Truth Skin Health products, including our Retinol 5% Gel and Truth Serum, Truth Omega-6 Healing Cream, make a great, they make great Christmas presents, by the way. Truth Omega-6 Healing Cream contains cholesterol. It also contains lots of juicy, fat-soluble vitamin C, super moisturizing for these dry, cold winter months if you're dealing with chapped skin or chapped lips. You want our Truth Omega-6 Healing Cream. If you're looking for one product, if you just want to buy one product, get the Truth Serum first. Always buy our Truth Serum first. And then I would probably, uh, depending on what you're looking for, go with our Truth Retinol Gel or Truth Balm second. And you can find out about all the products as well as my blog posts on skincare at truthtreatments.com. Truthtreatments.com. All right, got lines open, 844-236-6010. We'll get your calls here in our next segment. A few more things I want to say about connective tissue, and then we're going to talk about the most important component of the connective tissue or the most important type of connective tissue in the body. So the connective tissue does more than connect. It feeds, it nourishes, it detoxifies. Once the connective tissue breaks down, cell, uh, cell de deterioration is inevitable. Cell disease is inevitable. So working on the connective tissue is unbelievably important for the health of the cells. But it's more than that. Because the connective tissue is wrapped, uh, it wrapped around all of the structures in the body, once the connective tissue breaks down, not only do the cells get sick, but the structures themselves, independent of the cell disease, the structures themselves, the heart and the organs, the glands, they can break down as well, independent of the cell breakdown. The connective tissue squishes the organs, squishes the glands. Once the connective tissue starts to get sick, once the connective tissue breaks down, when it, once it's dehydrated, it starts to stick. And this stickiness can cause things like neuropathies, nerve pains. And you'll go to your doctor and he'll give you a, a pain pill. Or you may start to work on your blood sugar. But the fact of the matter is, as long as the connective tissue is pulling on the nerves and pulling on the organs and pulling on the glands, you're going to feel pain. And connective tissue can dehydrate. In fact, when you wake up in the morning, it more than likely is dehydrated. Once it's dehydrated, it can get sticky, it can get twisted, it can cause this shrinking effect. It can pull the entire body out of alignment. And this is particular, particularly true about a very, very special type of connective tissue, a connective tissue that coats all of the muscles, a connective tissue that is or a form of the connective tissue or a type of the connective tissue that is the most abundant a version of connective tissue in the entire body and at the same time the most under-recognized and under-appreciated unless you're a chiropractor or a physical therapist or perhaps a massage therapist you probably even heard uh, or you've been listening to this program you probably never even heard of this type of connective tissue the ligaments the tendons the joints the cartilage they get all the publicity everybody's heard of cartilage everybody's heard of ligaments everybody's heard of tendons and joints but hardly anyone except body workers talk about the fascia F-A-S-C-I-A, and we're going to be talking about the fascia for, uh, for the next day or two, for maybe even longer, because the fascia is incredibly important. The uh, fascia is like a plastic wrap that coats all of the organs and structures and the muscles and the bones and the blood vessels and forms a kind of second skin underneath our surface skin. In fact, if you took all of the organs out of the body, all the glands and all the structures out of the body and just left the fascia, you would get a template of what the body looks like. The fascia, it wraps everything inside the body. This stuff is unbelievably important. Now, you know, if you've listened to this program for any length of time, you know I love the body work called Rolfing, R-O-L-F-I-N-G. Now, partly anybody, unless you've been listening to this program, has ever heard of Rolfing. Rolfing gets the name, uh, gets its very unusual name, Rolfing, because of the, uh, the gal who discovered it and who came up with the process. Her name was Ida Rolf, R-O-L-F. And Rolfing is a type of body work that focuses on the fascia. Also, there's another type of body work called myofascial relief, or release, myofascial release, which also works on the fascia, the interaction between the fascia and the muscle. 
So the fascia is the most abundant type of connective tissue in the body. In fact, it's the most abundant tissue in the entire body. And it's amazing to me how nobody talks about it considering its impact on health. The fascia is like a, this incredible living web that it's hard to even describe it, but it actually is constantly in movement. And it's imagine a spider web that's constantly changing shape. Imagine a spider web that's constantly morphing, constantly splitting apart and coming together and splitting apart and coming together in this living way that is completely responsive to the environment. So you got this spider web-like material, except it's not sticky. Well, it's sticky like spider web, but it, it actually glides and has movement and dynamism, and it wraps everything inside the body. This It's like a, a gooey, sticky matrix. And uh, not only does it not only does it protect the internal structure, but it's actually dynamic and it's actually doing things. It's not just sitting there. It doesn't just wrap uh, the internal organs like everything in the body. It's in constant movement. It's in constant flux. And this constant movement and constant flux requires nutrition. This constant movement and constant flux requires oxygen. This constant movement and constant flux requires detoxification and it requires water. In fact, it uh, the water interaction between the fascia is what gives the fascia this dynamic nature. Last program or a couple programs ago, we talked about the very special nature of water as it interacts with the connective tissue. Well, this is what we're talking about. Water that's inter interacting with the fascia forms this not just ordinary water, it forms a, a, a very special kind of water called structured water or crystalline water. And it's the structured crystalline water that gives the, li gives the fascia its living nature. It's this structured, organized, crystalline, electromagnetic, uh, electromagnetically active water that gives the fascia its ability to slide and glide and tighten and split and, and do all of its dynamic activities. Once the fascia becomes dehydrated or broken down, this ordinarily flexible and elastic and dynamic nature of this, this, this second skin spider web that is in constant flux and constant movement will become negatively affected and we will feel pain. We will feel stiffness, tightness. We'll get into neuropathies. This is aside from the long-term chronic degenerative diseases, which will show up eventually. I'm just talking about pain. I'm just talking about stiffness. This is why when we wake up in the morning, this is a classic example of what the body feels like when it, uh, when it has, uh, undergoes long-term dehydration. That feeling, that stiff feeling you get in the morning, for most of us, it goes away as we move. Because as we're moving, the fascia becomes more nourished, the fascia becomes more oxygenated, the fascia becomes more hydrated, especially if we're drinking water. But some people have that all day long. And when you have it all day long and you have it chronically, you experience pain. That's called, by the way, fibromyalgia. Fibromyalgia is what it feels like when the fascia is chronically damaged and chronically sick and chronically starving and chronically messed up. And doctors are mystified. They have no idea what to do about fibromyalgia. Well, if you're listening to this program and you understand what I just said, you know more than your doctor when it comes to fibromyalgia. You know more than your doctor when it comes to a lot of things. But fibromyalgia, because it's such an absolutely miserable condition, and I mean miserable, it's so tragic to me that nobody is focusing, at least in, in the world of medicine, on where the problem is in the fascia, in the connective tissue. Do you guys think working on your fashion, working on your connective tissue is important? You better believe it is, and there's lots of ways to do it. We'll talk about a couple of them when we come back from our break and take your phone calls as well. All right, we are back on the bright side. I'm Pharmacist Ben, 844-236-6010 is our number. If you're on hold, we'll get to you in just a moment. If you want to purchase any of the longevity products or join the bright side Ben team, we'd love to have you on board. I can help you grow your business. And if you are health-minded and business-minded, this is a model that you want to look into. Call the phone team at 866-735-2470. 866-735-2470. They can give you the full scoop. 
And if you're interested in checking out our bone broth protein, our connective tissue building bone broth protein, by the way, that's one of the most important roles of bone broth in general and bone broth protein. This is the reason why bone broth and bone broth protein have these multiple benefits in the body. It's because the whole thing is connective tissue. The whole body is connective tissue. And bone broth amino acids and bone broth uh, protein sugar complexes, they call them GAGs, things like glucosamine and chondroitin, which you've probably heard of for arthritis, build the entire body, not to mention the fact that they also stimulate the immune system. If you want to check out our bone broth protein or our pure hemp technology CBD oil or our Burger Max or our digestive enzyme products and pro, uh, uh, probiotic support products, head over to brightsidehealth.com, brightsidehealth.com. Okay. So we will talk, uh, we'll talk the next couple of days about the connective tissue, things uh, about the fascia, I should say, things that you can do to support fascial health. We get the word fascism, by the way, the political, uh, the political, uh, the political term fascism from fascia. Fascia means to bind together, to tie together in Latin. Fascism is a, 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 a political, a type of uh, a, a political school of thought, if you will, that binds everything together. It's where power is centralized. Everything is tied together. Well, the same thing occurs with the fascia in the body. Everything in the body is tied together via the fascia. Loosening the fascia via rolfing and body work is one of the all-time great health strategies that's not only important for the cells, for the health of the cells, not only important for the health of the structures and glands, but also important for feeling good. Body work, massage, fascial release, rolfing, all of these are great strategies to feel good, especially if you're dealing with neuropathies, especially if you're dealing with tight, uh, tight muscles, especially if you're dealing with fibromyalgia, which is one of the most miserable health challenges that's compounded, who, whose misery is compounded by the fact that doctors have zero zippo idea of what to do about it. In fact, they didn't even believe it was real until the last 10 or 15 years ago. They would give people who, who got it, and uh, for very interesting reasons, most victims of fibromyalgia are women. They would give women uh, 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 antidepressants. They still do for fibromyalgia because, of course, it's all in your head. No, it's not all in your head. It's all in your body. If you have fibromyalgia, it's all in the connective tissue. There's lots of ways to build the fascia, to build the connective tissue, to strengthen the fascia, strengthen the connective tissue. Bone broth protein is a classic. Bone broth in general is a classic. But there's lots of ways, and we'll talk about some of these, uh, some of these mechanisms for improving connective tissue and improving the health of the fascia, thereby improving the health of the organ structures, glands, and cells of the body tomorrow as we continue talking connective tissue and fascia on the bright side. Okay, a couple quick stories I want to get to, and then we will get your call. So hang on, don't go away. And we do have lines open at 844-236-6010 from the University of Texas Southwestern Medical Center. Intermittent fasting inhibits the development and progression of the most common type of childhood leukemia. I think I might have read this uh, a couple days ago, but it's worth reading again. According to Alex Zhang, Associate Professor of Physiology at UT Southwestern, this was published in the journal Nature, they have identified a mechanism responsible for the response to fasting, the fasting treatment. I cannot emphasize to you enough how powerful intermittent fasting is as a longevity strategy and as a disease-busting strategy. And keep in mind, folks, a lot, of t a lot of times people say, well, she's really skinny. She can't fast. Yes, she can. When you fast... You may lose a little bit of weight, but what you really do is you upregulate the body's ability to build. Even if you do lose weight, even if you do lose weight, if you only fast for one day or for two days or you fast intermittently, it's not going to be muscle that you're losing. It's going to be body fat for the most part that you're losing if you do lose weight. So if you're thinking, well, I only weigh 90 pounds, I can't intermittently fast, I'll lose weight. No, you're not going to lose anything that you don't need. If you need it, one day of fasting, intermittent fasting, it's not going to make a difference on what you need. It will make a difference on detoxification. It will make a difference on your cancer, and it will absolutely make a difference on how effective your chemotherapy is. Your chemotherapy will work better when you intermittently fast. 
From the journal Medical Hypothesis, EDTA, chelation therapy and chronic degenerative disease. Chelation therapy is another one of these health strategies that if we really cared about health in this country, if Obamacare was really about our health, if government sponsored insurance was not just a boondoggle for drug companies and a boondoggle for the insurance industry and a boondoggle for hospitals and a boondoggle for health management. And by the way, it's not a boondoggle, boondoggle necessarily for doctors. The individual doctor gets screwed just as much as the individual patient by government Obamacare, by government insurance. And they're not happy about it either. So don't blame your doctor. Blame the government. Blame, your, blame the system. Blame us. Blame us for caring, for needing, for thinking we need the government to take care of our health. We're responsible here, too, for this boondoggle, this, this ridiculous thing we call Obamacare, or any government-sponsored insurance, in my opinion. Anyway, if we really cared about health, we would, have, uh, we would uh, uh, subsidize everybody's chelation therapy. Chelation therapy is when uh, you inject a little magnet into your blood, and this little magnet attracts toxins pulls toxins out of the blood. According to Medical Hypothesis, EDTA chelation therapy resulted in marked improvement in 76.89% and good improvement in 16.56% of patients. Right? Do you hear those numbers, folks? 92% of people benefited, and that includes ischemic heart disease. In fact, that's, that's what this study is about, ischemic heart disease. Also peripheral vascular disease and something called intermittent claudication, just like a cramping up. If we really cared about health, we would rolf everybody. We would pay for rolfing. We would pay for a hot tub in every backyard. We would pay for chelation therapy. But no, we pay for drugs. We pay for bypass surgeries and angioplasties. We pay for medical intervention. We pay for doctor intervention. We pay for having our gallbladders removed and having our thyroids removed. But nobody thinks of paying for nutritional supplements. Nobody thinks of paying government insurance for chelation therapy or massage or rolfing or a hot tub in the backyard. I'm not kidding about that. That is an amazing, amazing health strategy. A hot tub, a hot bath, a hot shower. Okay, 844-236-6010 is our number. We got uh, a couple lines open. Let's go to Sharita in Mississippi. Good morning, Sharita. Hey, how are you doing this morning? I'm doing good. Happy holidays to you. How can we help you? Well, um, first of all, um, I want to say that um, for three years, I've been on uh, blood pressure medicine. That's and, not good. Um, my, I know. And I what really are you on? want to get off of it. What are you on? Uh, it's called amlodipine with... Uh, Benazapril. Okay. That was good, though. That was a, I like that. That <laughs> was good. You did well. I, I couldn't get that one out. But, um, <laughs> lately, I've been having trouble since the doctor put me on this, this newer one. And it's been some weird things. I have, um, like, a shortness of breath, and I'm tired. That's an awful and thing. That's the drugs, my dear. Is, is it the amylodipine that you're on the same drug, in other words, and it's just start, you're starting now to get side effects? I'm not is that sure right? If it's from that or not. It's a good, a good chance it is. Don't go away. We've got to take a break and we'll finish up when we come back. Okay, Sharita, don't go away. And uh, if you're on hold, hang tight. We'll get to you as well. 844 236 6010 is our number. Our number will be back after this. Okay, we are back on the bright side. Pharmacist Ben here, 844-236-6010, and we do have lines open for you. We're talking to Sharita in Mississippi. Hello, Sharita. So, uh, you there, ma'am? You there? Okay, good. Yes, I so, am. All right, so you're on the um, amylodipine and you're on the Benzapril together, correct? Lotrel. Yes. Are you taking it? Is there a generic for it or you're taking the brand name? I don't even know. There's probably a generic, right? Um, I'm going to say generic, yes. Yeah, it's probably the generic yeah. form. In any case, uh, the first drug is a uh, the amylodipine. It's a classic, uh, uh, the brand name's called Norvask. It's a classic calcium channel blocker. Have you heard of that term? Uh, yes, Cal I have. Yes, okay, so it blocks, it blocks the influx of calcium, and doctors and their infinite wisdom believe that's a good thing. That's the way they force the body, the blood pressure to drop, by poisoning this system that channels calcium into the cells in order to keep the blood vessels doing what they're supposed to do, which is open and close. They poison the system by blocking calcium. Okay, not a good thing, a very bad thing. In fact, calcium channel blockers are among the worst of all drugs, and that's saying something, although they're not the worst, but they're you know near the top of the list. I'd say top 10 for sure. 
Then the second drug is uh, ACE inhibitor. That's a benzapril, and the clue to that is the pril, P-R-I-L, like or, 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 uh, captopril was the first one that came out, zestril, uh, I-L actually. In the, in the chemistry world, it's a pril, P-R-I-L, but in the layperson's uh, world, it's just I-L. When you hear I-L at the end of your drug, you got a, what's called an ACE inhibitor. These are drugs that work at the level of the kidney because the kidney is your major, the kidney and the adrenal glands are your major blood pressure regulating system, or glands, or, or systems, I should say. So by poisoning the system, which is what benzapril does, doctors in their infinite wisdom believe that's a good thing that will force your blood pressure to drop. This is not a good thing. It's a very bad thing. Why? Because the blood pressure is supposed to fluctuate. It's supposed to adjust. It's not supposed to be permanently poisoned. This is the dumbest. Not, there's so many dumb ones. It's one of the dumbest medical strategies. So of course you're not going to feel good eventually. Now, I didn't quite catch, Sharita, if you said that your side effects showed up over time, they got worse, you were okay when you started. I didn't quite understand that part. Can you help me out with that? Well, well, I was okay when I first started. Okay, and it got worse. The past, yeah, it's starting to get worse. Because it's accumulating. Sure. You're, no, it's the drug. Of course it is. See, the body is so amazing, Sharita. It can adjust to things. It can adjust to being poisoned. So you don't notice things right away. Sometimes. Sometimes you do. But sometimes it takes a while for the, the body to become poisoned enough so that you get a side effect. That's what's happening. I highly recommend you do what you can do to get off that drug, my dear. Where the problem with these kinds of uh, therapies and these kinds of protocols is they allow you, with all due respect, Sharita, they allow you to continue your bad living that is causing the problem in the first place. You with me? So yeah. you don't see that there's a problem. What we call a problem is the body telling us something's wrong. So we poison that system, and then we continue about our... And again, I don't mean to be mean, but I, I want to get this point across. We continue about our bad living. And that not only allow, uh, makes the problem worse, but because we're on the drug now for a long period of time, it increases the likelihood of, uh, of, some, of toxicity and side effects. And we're already weakened because we're of our bad living. So what you've got to do, Sharita, and I cannot emphasize this to you enough, as a pharmacist, you've got to begin to wean yourself off the drug. Talk, tell your doctor, work with him. It's not, fair to, you know, it's not fair to go behind his back because he's trying to help you here. But work with him, but insist you want to wean yourself off this medication. But, big but here, capital B, you've got to change the problem that got, that got you in this mess in the first place. You with me? Yeah. Okay, now I'm not picking on you, but you do live in Mississippi. And in Mississippi, yeah. you probably you probably like your chicken fried steak and, you know what I'm saying, and, you know, fried or whatever you fry down there, you know, corn fried this yeah. and corn fried. <laughs> That's the, where the problem is. And this is why the highest rates of heart disease are in Mississippi and Arkansas and Alabama and Louisiana. It's not a coincidence. It's because of the type of foods you're eating. Now, certainly you're not the only people in the country eating like this, but these are things that you've got to focus on. All right? So okay. Okay. that's where your problem is. It's in the toxicity that's getting into the body. At this point, it's probably, there's probably serious toxicity, and it's also in the blood sugar system. So what I, Sharita, you got to do everything we talk about on this program all the time. I don't know if you're a new listener, if you've been hearing this. I don't want to bore you by saying the same thing, but I, it is the same thing. You got to work on the digestive system, first and foremost. You got to work on your blood sugar. Stabilize the blood sugar. Get on the sweeties from Longevity. Use the Fucoid Z from Longevity. Uh, use your Beyond Tangy Tangerine B vitamins like they're going out of style, ultimate niacin. I'm going to tell you a lot of stuff. You'll have to go back to the archives to listen. Zinc, 50 milligrams a day. Vitamin A, 20,000 IU a day. Relax the body as much as possible, Sharita. You got some little ones there you're taking care of? Do you got kids? Yes, I have two so, of them. <laughs> well, that's, that's great, but that's not great for your blood pressure sometimes. So, we, so what you got to do is you got to do all the things you could do to relax the body, to activate the relaxation nervous system. Ultimately, Elevated blood pressure, hypertension is a sign that the body is in a stress response. Now, the blood pressure is supposed to go up and down a little bit. It's supposed to fluctuate a little bit in response to what's happening in the environment. But when it's chronically elevated, this is a sign of a chronically activated sympathetic nervous system or stress response or emergency response system. This is why hot baths, take two hot baths a day, one in the morning, one at night. Sharita, get a, you have a blood pressure cuff? I do. Okay, get your blood pressure cuff, take your blood pressure. Then go sit in a hot bath for five or ten minutes. 
and then take your blood pressure again. What do you think is going to happen to your blood pressure? It's going to drop like a stone, like a stone, faster than any drug will do. Now, you may have to be careful because you're on a drug now, so you may not want to do it for more than two or three minutes and sit in the hot bath because your blood pressure will, will, will really drop. But you can wean yourself off your meds. You follow me? With this, yeah. you can wean yourself off your meds and wean yourself. Go, well, let me just say one more thing: wean yourself off your meds and wean yourself into a hot bath. Last thing is slow, deep breathing. Slow, deep, rhythmic breathing. The rhythm is very important. And there's a couple other things I could I, I could add too, but I want. What, we're running out of time here. What's your question? Oh, okay. Well, Shree? I know you two said that it was the blood sugar because the doctor that put me on it, she ran a test. And that was one of the things I noticed on there. It said um, glucose serum was 100, and I looked it up, and it said that almost in a pre-diabetic range. No, you're not a pre-diabetic. Sharita, you're not a pre-diabetic. Those tests are useless and meaningless. You go by your symptoms. You have the symptoms of a diabetic. You probably got weight issues, too. Yes? Yes. How do I know this? Am I like looking through the radio here to see you? How do I know this? Because it's a part of the syst- it's part of the syndrome. They all occur together. You got kidney issues too. Okay? You got uh, okay. uh, you go look up syndrome X or also now they call it metabolic syndrome. Have you heard of that term metabolic syndrome? No. If you don't have kidney problems yet, you're on the road to having kidney problems and now they're drugging your kidney. Look up syndrome X or metabolic syndrome. That's what you got. Okay. And, it's, and a syndrome, you know, I'm assuming you know what a syndrome is, but for some folks who don't, a syndrome is when you have a bunch of symptoms that, f- that all occur together. That's called a syndrome. And what you're dealing with is metabolic syndrome. And the, the lunacy of poisoning the body to deal with it is just over the top. Uh, Sharita, I got to motivate. I, I want to get one more call in. Thank you so much. I hope I helped you out. God bless you. And good luck with everything. All right. Elaine. What's going on? Got about a minute here. I wanted to get to you. Elaine Hi. in Alaska. What's going uh, on? If you, if you just have one minute, I'll call back on a patient. You want to call back? My second question was more for me for my skin. Um, okay. I'm the physical therapist with lupus. I, I know. Yes, I remember you. Yeah. And what do, you, uh, do you like all that stuff about rolfing, by the way? Do you know about that? Oh, that's totally Isn't that? up my alley. And I don't know if you've ever heard <laughs> Counter strain. Counter strain is like um, rolfing on steroids. It's, it's oh my sex- gosh, I haven't heard of it. No. Yeah, Why don't you call? Can you call back tomorrow and tell us about that? Yeah, I would love to. Uh, okay. Quick, uh, um, yeah. What skin product would you recommend for um, my skin? I've got lupus, so I've just got to be a little careful. But I do have this like annoying acne, you know, maybe around the neck. It's not a skin problem, Elaine. So I can't yeah. tell you a skin remedy. You don't have a skin problem. Acne's not a skin problem. By the time you see the zit or the blemish or the lesion, it's over. It's done. That's the body's attempt to resolve the problem. The problem is underneath. So I can't really recommend a skin problem product per se, although you can approve the appearance. And, I, and without seeing your skin, it's hard for me to say. If your skin is real sensitive, you've got to be careful. You can improve the appearance with apple cider vinegar topically. Or if you want to really you know, be a little bit more aggressive, you can use glycolic acid or lactic acid, which you get from a, a compounding pharmacist. Uh, but personally, I would, I, it's, you know, again, with lupus, your skin's going to be very sensitive. So I can't really tell you uh, how aggressive you want to be. You want to get to as much aggression as you can without going into irritation. As much, I don't want to say aggression, stimulation without going into irritation. Does that make sense, Elaine? Yeah, so of and, the products you make, is there one that you recommend? Um, you know what? I would go with, not for the acne, for the healing of the skin. I would be going with my True Serum or Omega-6 healing cream. But uh, it's a little bit more complicated than that. Will you call back tomorrow? I want to hear about counter strain. You bet. And then, uh, and then we can tell you a little bit more about the skin. Okay? Thanks, thanks for your call, Elaine. Appreciate it. All right. Love my smart listeners on the bright side, and that is all the time we have for today. If you want to check out our Truth Treatment products, Retinol 5% Gel or Truth Serum or Truth Bomb or Omega-6 Healing Cream, head to truthtreatments.com. I am Pharmacist Ben. Have a wonderful, beautiful, spectacular day. We'll talk to you all later. Bye for now. 